Whether you believe them or not, it's hard not to get suckered into a good urban legend, because tall tales such as these are so appealing, it's no surprise that the world of video games have their fair share of myths. Today we're looking at the lore that has a flair for the macabre, and why not get a little bit weird with it? This isn't your regular top 10, because I'm Cy for WhatCulture.com, and these are the 11 creepiest urban legends in video games. Number 11. The Shadows in Shiverburn Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2 When you reach the Shiverburn Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2, there is a peculiar detail you may notice the instant you enter the terrain. If you go into first person mode and look towards the glacier cliffs, you should notice three shadowy figures watching you. Thinking rationally, you may assume these creatures are an incomplete texture, but the more you learn about these dark entities, the scarier they become. Firstly, the file name for these shadows is Hell Valley Sky Tree. Weirder still, the area these figures reside in is titled Beyond Hell Valley. Although you can't tell by looking at them, these entities are enormous. The tallest one is 100 times larger than Mario. It's also worth mentioning these enigmatic critters resemble Kodamas, Japanese spirits who hide in trees waiting to curse anyone foolish enough to cut them down. But what's worse is Nintendo has never explained what these things are, and what they're even doing in a Mario game of all things to begin with. Number 10. Sparky and the Secret Code – Five Nights at Freddy's Because the very nature of Five Nights at Freddy's is cryptic, it would have been less surprising if Scott Cawthorn's survival horror franchise didn't include an urban legend or two. Sure enough, there were murmurs of a secret animatronic called Sparky the Dog hidden in Five Nights at Freddy's shortly after the point and click adventure debuted. Unlike his sinister companions, this one-armed robot, who supposedly appeared backstage, never attacks the player. Sadly, Sparky was proven to be a hoax, which is a shame because he was pretty terrifying. After this fabrication was exposed, you would think gamers would be more cautious about what to believe in the future. Instead, fans of Five Nights fell for the rumour mill yet again. Although the kitchen camera is deactivated, it was suggested it could be turned on in custom night mode by inputting 666 on the keyboard while the room was selected. However, after data miners failed to find any image file for the kitchen, this rumour was quashed. Number 9. Yummer – Spongebob Saves the Day Spongebob Saves the Day is an online Flash game released in 2019. Throughout your adventure, you need to help our titular Sponge prepare for holiday by helping his friends. It may be a simple game, but it's clear the developers put a lot of care into the project, since it perfectly captures the look and feel of the beloved animated series. But over time, there were stories that Spongebob Saves the Day had a hidden character called Yummer, which left players utterly terrified. When images of this bald humanoid entity started popping up online, many assumed it was a hoax. Not only did it seem nonsensical for such an unsettling a character to appear in a kid's game, Yummer's hyper-realistic aesthetic didn't match the cutesy design of SpongeBob SquarePants. When this legend refused to die, players investigated the inner workings of the game only to discover Yummer was real. While accessing the off-screen selection of the Krusty Krab, the grinning figure can be spotted peeking from the side. Number 8. Pigsy and Ratman – Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Anyone who's played GTA should be well acquainted with the myth that Bigfoot is hidden in San Andreas. However, you may not be familiar with far more disturbing legends circulating the game. Apparently, by waiting around a specific destination, you could encounter Pigsy, the serial killer from Manhunt. As ludicrous as this report sounded, it's theoretically possible since both franchises were made by the same company around the same time. Rumours gained further traction when YouTube videos were uploaded in 2008 depicting footage of the pig masked psychopath in Mount Child and Shady Creeks. But when data miners found nothing to back these claims up, interest in the Pigsy rumours dissolved. Or maybe the myth died down because gamers were obsessing over another GTA urban legend. The same year the Pigsy video was uploaded, GTA 4 was released. Not long after its launch, an image circulated online of a human-rat hybrid lurking in the subway tunnels in the game's eastern service station. This overgrown rodent was said to kill the player instantly if they had the misfortune of running into it. Even though many dismissed this picture as a fake, there were some who saw enough clues to warrant the rat man's existence. For example, several NPCs mentioned large rat-like critters near the station. Number 7. Brutus the Bulldog – Animal Crossing. It's always the cutest games that spawn the most disturbing urban legends. Sometimes it feels like Pokemon's Lavender Town freaked out more gamers than Silent Hill. Which brings us to Animal Crossing. Although it's arguably Nintendo's most adorable franchise, that doesn't mean it's immune to a few spooky myths. All the way back on the GameCube edition of Animal Crossing, there were speculations that the player could make contact with an evil bulldog called Brutus. This purple pup supposedly moved into the village during the night and would be gone the following morning, giving the player little chance of encountering him. Allegedly, Brutus would send the player binary letters, delete your village if you saw him, or crash the game if you entered his house. This legend got so out of hand it dictated how certain people played the game. Some turned Animal Crossing off at night to avoid running into Brutus and incurring his wrath. Despite there being no evidence of this character's existence, there are rumours that he's been cited in nearly every Animal Crossing entry since, even after 20 years. Number 6. The Letter – Twisted Metal Extra Twisted Twisted Metal Extra Twisted was a PS2 port of the PSP installment Twisted Metal. 
metal head on. Rather than being a straightforward adaptation, the game included an additional mode called Twisted Metal Lost, which contained four levels from the cancelled sequel. Although Lost was a nice bonus, the origins of how it came to be are really weird. Apparently, the level Harbour City was cancelled after six of the developers died in a plane crash. Two years later, a letter supposedly signed by these developers found its way to Sony, imploring them to show their work to the world. During an interview, lead developer David Yaffa seemingly confirmed the story behind the developer's demise was legit. But while speaking on his now defunct blog to a journalist from 1up.com, Yaffa made a conflicting account stating that the developers dying in the plane crash was totally fake and was never used to promote the game, instead saying it was our take on a Blair Witch setup for the game's story and that none of this had been clarified before launch. With no definitive answer for years though, the Twisted Metal community more than went along for the ride. Number 5. The Killer Game Taboo The Sixth Sense Taboo is a tarot simulator released for the NES in 1989. Weirdly developed by, of all people, Rareware. Even though fortune telling is intriguing, Taboo does absolutely nothing with the concept. In the game you must give your name, birthday and gender. After that you are handed several cards that propagate a possible future for you and that's it. Without a shred of exaggeration it takes longer to complete Taboo's instruction manual than the game itself. Since there are no puzzles, enemies, obstacles or skills required, some question whether it can be classified as a game to begin with. With little to offer, Taboo vanished into obscurity almost immediately after it was released. However many years later, Taboo came back into the spotlight when it was rumoured that the tarot simulator accurately predicted the deaths of several young players. Because it's difficult to find any details on this report other than standard write-ups though, it's safe to assume the event is bogus. Number 4. Hero Brine. Minecraft. It took less than a decade for Minecraft to become the most successful video game of all time. Mo Yang's blocky sandbox title has managed to stay on top due to its accessibility and addictive gameplay. But there's no way Minecraft could have been this popular for so long without generating at least one creepy story. To hardcore fans, Hero Brian is the snuff of legends since there have been hints of his existence since the game's pre-release when images of him circulated on gaming forums. In these pictures, Hero Brian resembles the default Steve character with fully whitened eyes. It was rumoured that if if you see random objects manifest into being in a single player world, you know Hero Brian is near. A few who allegedly spotted him said they only saw the mysterious spectre for a second before he vanished. However, all the gamers who claim to have encountered Hero Brian are more commonly known as liars, since the character never existed. Even though this legend should have died down by now, there's always some Minecraft gamer with an overactive imagination who swears they bumped into Hero Brian upon their last playthrough. Number 3. The Insanity Mod. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. When Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Morrowind took the world by storm, it wasn't long before diehard gamers started crafting their own mods for the RPG. Although there are hundreds of versions of Morrowind, there is no question that the JVK 1166Z mod is the most infamous. At first, many suspected JVK wasn't a game but a virus since it corrupted save files when activated. To get it to work, JVK had to be played in DOSBox. Immediately after this incarnation of Morrowind boots up, crazy things start happening. All the main characters are dead, NPCs keep telling you to watch the sky, and when your health hit zero, you encounter a spider creature called the Assassin. If you enter a nearby dungeon, you'll come across a locked door. Even though there's no known way to open this door, it hasn't stopped people trying. According to some reports, players spent days without sleep, obsessing over accessing this area. Gamers became so fixated on this door, they suffered from night terrors or hallucinations revolving around the Assassin. Although it's debated if these reports are real or if the mod itself actually existed, JVK has been recreated many times by fanatical modders, ensuring this urban legend won't be going away anytime soon. Number 2. The Coordinates – Pale Luna In recent years, there have been reports of a creepy text-based adventure title called Pale Luna. In this game, you must choose which part of the forest to walk towards while carrying gold, a shovel, and a rope. Because most players couldn't make heads or tails of it, Pale Luna was dismissed as a broken game. However, there was one guy called Michael Nevins who managed to beat it. After Nevins tried every possible combination of movements, the screen flashed with the text, Pale Luna smiles wide, there are no paths. Pale Luna smiles wide, the ground is soft. Pale Luna smiles wide. Here, command? Nevins dug a hole, threw in the gold and filled it up. He then received a message which was in fact coordinates. Out of curiosity, Nevins looked these coordinates up and learned that it was a particular spot in Lassen Volcanic Park in California. So making a brief excursion, Nevins dug up the dirt on the coordinates with a shovel and discovered the body of a girl who went missing the previous year. If that story made the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end, don't get too excited. As entertaining as this tale is, it is one of the most infamous creepypastas that 
that took on a life of its own, not an actual video game. Number one, the game that never was, Kill Switch. Much like Polybius or Pale Luna, the urban legend that surrounds Kill Switch is not the game itself, but whether it existed in the first place. Supposedly, a Czechoslovakian company called Carvina Corporation made 5,000 copies of this alleged title during the late 1980s or early 1990s. In this mystery horror game, you could choose to play as an invisible fire-breathing demon called Ghast or a girl called Porto. What made Kill Switch unique is how it could only be played one time. If the player died or reached the goal, the game would automatically erase itself, leaving no record it was there in the first place. Because it's difficult to prove a video game that was never real, you'd imagine this creepypasta would linger forever. However, it's surprisingly easy to disprove Kill Switch's existence, since its origins can be traced to Catherine M. Valanti's short story Melancholy of Mecha Girl, which was published in 2013. Since we can pinpoint where this tale originated from, you'd think that that would put this myth to bed. But because so many people have uploaded their own mods of Kill Switch online over the years, the gaming community has managed to keep this legend alive. And that's the list. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below. Which of these urban legends creeps you out the most? And of course, let us know of any others that we missed. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've been Cypher Culture, and have a good week.